Over the years, I've bought at least a handful of easy ups, but every one mechanically failed or got destroyed by a random gust of wind, which happens a lot in Vegas. The final straw was this day. A gust of wind turned into a pretzel. Yep, that pile of sticks on the ground, that's what's left of it. Behold, the indestructible awning. Look at that structure. The easy ups you can buy at the store are junk. I'm pretty sure they're designed to break after 10 uses max. So I made my own using Unistrut and a tarp. Unistrut, also known as Super Strut, is commonly used in commercial buildings. It's used to attach electrical conduit or plumbing fixtures. It's cool stuff because you can use it like an erector set. It's relatively inexpensive and they sell it at Home Depot and Lowe's. So these are the plans I made in Google Documents. The fail was my first attempt because I thought I could cut the pieces from memory. That design isn't square so I redid it. Now to cut the metal, the easiest and most inexpensive way is to buy a $20 angle grinder from Harbor Freight. I have six because I hate changing discs. I made my awning 8 foot by 8 foot to fit my trailer. It's not as big as my previous awnings but it seems to be big enough and I'll never have to buy another. I believe Super Strut only comes in 10 foot lengths so if you want to make an awning bigger than 10 by 10 I'm not sure where you can get the material. The 8 by 8 size is ridiculously strong. It's probably overkill. I think 50 mile per hour winds would be no problem. Absolute worst case is the tarp would shred and fly off but I'm confident the frame would be fine. Setting up the frame is very easy. Using ratchet straps in the X pattern makes the frame super strong. If it's real windy, attach the frame to the bottom of the trailer with another ratchet strap. Use bungees to attach the tarp to the frame. The tarp is a little bit of a pain, but the entire setup process still takes less than 15 minutes start to finish. Taking it down takes even less time. If it's raining, use a stick to prop up the middle of the tarp. The part I found most difficult was making brackets to securely attach it to the trailer. I used an old bottle jack, a homemade brake on my welding table to help bend the brackets into shape, but a bench vise and a big hammer would also work. I was using a tie down to secure it, but I didn't feel that was adequate. So I added the threaded rod with hairpin design to make absolutely sure the frame can't swing out during transport. You do not want that swinging out while on the highway. Another technical detail is I used some drywall screws to keep the bolts from sliding down the slots. Without this, it would sometimes bind when opening and closing. It's not a very elegant solution, and I'm sure you guys can come up with something much better. Well, that's it. I hope this inspires someone to take my basic design and improve upon it. If you do, let me know. Thanks for watching.